I'm here with uh, Bernadette Walker. Right, I just want to start off this interview by saying what, what matters to you at the moment? What, what is it that you're finding? Uh, right now it's paying bills. Paying bills. Yes, because I mean, I'm on the social and that, and uh, I'm finding it very hard to, you know, get the payments out the way and, you know, worrying about the rent and, you know, and when are they going to come to my house and, you yeah. know, arrest me or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you basically just want more consideration for single mums out there who yeah. are having to struggle. Yeah. Um, and the working situation which you have at the moment, which yeah. is with the, uh, the injuries that you sustain, that you should be on the medical instead of the social. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel as if they should be, you know, people that are like myself, mm -hmm. that are really you know, medically injured yeah. and that can't work and have been told by the medical board they can't work. So I feel as if the government should let us get, mm -hmm. you know, medical benefits Definitely. instead of being on the social, yeah. which the money is a lot less than what social benefits is. So you should be having consideration for having the kids, you have your have a grandchild, yeah. you, need, uh, you need that kind of support, yeah. basically. Yeah. Uh, now, I, I know that you started, you said you were um, uh, making a bit of a, an effort to try and speak out against Galwana in the, with regards to the social. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've, yeah. I have gone round to him a couple of times, I mean, about the housing and, you know, trying to see him because of the social benefits. I did a petition as well, where a lot of us signed it. And I mean, I took it round to show him and to, to let him know how a lot of us feel at the social, that we're, we're not surviving on the money we're getting. You know, we're not asking it to be put up by thousands, you know, I mean, at least, you know, an extra yeah. 20, 30 quid more, mm -hmm. you know, because I mean, Nowadays, you find that the, the money, I mean, Morrison's is quite bloody expensive for us. Yeah. You know, and then I don't go to Spain. Yeah. You know, I don't have a car. I, I don't travel to Spain and yeah. things like that. I do my shopping here. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us do our shopping here. Mm. You know, and I'm, I mean, a theft, theft in Morrison's. You find out a lot of them are on the social. Yeah, after desperation yeah, is pushing it's into because that. they can't afford it. Yeah. So you've, you, you talk to some of them, and it's because you know, they, they need to feed their kids. It's not like rubbish they're getting, it's actually food they're, they're stealing. It's what they need. Yeah, it's what they need for, to survive for their kids. Yeah, so it's more consideration that you're after yeah. more than anything we, else. We just want the yeah. money to be yeah. put up just yeah. a bit, at least a bit to help us pay our rent, for us not to worry, get stressed, because a lot of us get stressed, yeah. you know, about paying our bills. Yeah. And it's not fair. Yeah, all. I mean, I'm not used to being like this. Yeah. I've, been, I've always been a very proud person mm -hmm. and I've always been you know where I pay my bills I like to pay my bills and this that and the other but then when I got on the social I just got in debt and debt and debt and it started stressing me out a lot yeah, yeah. you know and when I'm stressed out it stresses my kids and that's something you, you know and I don't like my kids yeah. seeing me like that exactly. and having to struggle and then Christmas time sorry kids I can't buy you this because I can't afford it I've got to buy food yeah. you know you can't even save up you can't even save up towards Christmas yeah because you're too busy trying to pay this off or trying to pay that yeah. off. And then this is a situation affecting a lot of people. Yeah, it's all, it's all of us on the social, all of us. I mean, I know, I mean, I understand what Carolina's point of view. There are people in the social that shouldn't be there. They've got their partners and things like that. Mm -hmm. And you see them with their flashy cars. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't even afford a car. <laughs> I'd love to have a car, <laughs> but I can't afford a car. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think he should check and like, in the UK, they go round to your home. I mean, I've lived in the UK, and they came to my home, they checked. They even checked in my cupboards to make sure there were not men's clothes in there. Yeah, yeah. And I feel, feel that they should do that here as well. Yeah, it's not enough. If, it, yeah. if, you, if you don't want to give us more money because you think a lot of people are robbing the social, mm -hmm. then go, come to our homes, come see how we live. You know, I've, I've even said to Coralana, come to my home, see how I live, see the situation I'm living in. And he was thrilled. <laughs> no, he was too busy talking to my son, actually, <laughs> then talking to me. <laughs> so, and uh, I just felt, you know, that's how I feel. I just feel, you know, give us the chance to live, yeah. try and pay our bills off. Yeah, you deserve I, the same treatment as everybody yeah, else. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, I know, and a lot of them mothers there would go to work or even like say right the nursery there's a nursery for you you don't have to pay right make them go to work yeah because some of them i i feel as if they just don't want to work either yeah. you know what yeah. i mean because they they've got the social and they've got part their boyfriends or partners or whatever and they're working and 
So they're having a comfortable life. And do you feel that perhaps the influx of the amount of Spanish workers we have here is affecting as well the ability for, for these people on the social jobs? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Because, I mean, um, I mean, my son's father, I mean, he found it very hard to get a job. I mean, he's just got one in the, uh, the where they're building uh, mm -hmm. Mid Harbours. He managed to get a job there. And I mean, every worker on there is Spanish. You know what I mean? And he's having to translate for them. So, you know, and I, I just feel as if, well, where's the Gibraltarian workers here? Yeah. When I know there are good Gibraltarian builders here. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, yeah. but there are. And uh, with regards to the sort of language difference, you, the English, which is our pre pre predominant language in Gibraltar, yeah. you're having to learn Spanish. Well, I couldn't get, uh, I wasn't allowed a job here. I wasn't allowed to yeah. get, yeah. well, most of the jobs that I tried for, yeah. I couldn't get because I did not know any Spanish. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I feel, well, you know, it, it makes me so angry when you see so many of them here that are working in all through Main Street that yeah. just speak Spanish. You go into a place and they won't, won't talk to you in English yeah, yeah. because they don't know how to. Crucious. And if you go to Spain, you would have to have learned Spanish there. I mean, I'm, my, my Spanish isn't that good. No. I, I, I speak a little bit, but <laughs> not enough mm. to get a decent job here. Yeah. That's not fair. Yeah. So yeah. what you want is more consideration for people in your position yeah. and yes. some sort of amenities yeah. to be created so that you can uh, I, I achieve mean, your fullest. I mean, a lot of the jobs are going yeah. to the Spaniards yeah. because they get paid less yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, under the minimum wage. Yeah. So who would you employ? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's some food for thought right there. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh,